Yes. The syllabus is what? The first point from syllabus is introduction to artificial intelligence. After that, uh, foundation of artificial intelligence, then history, then uh, state of the art, risk and benefits of AI, intelligent agents, different agents and environments, good behavior, the concept of uh, rationality, nature of different environments and the structure of agents. So these points we are going to see in this particular lecture. Right, so first start with the introduction of artificial intelligence. So we know that artificial intelligence has various application in today's society. Okay, just like example of ChatGPT. So this is one of the example of your artificial intelligence. Okay, and it is becoming essential for today's time because it can solve complex problems with an efficient way in multiple industries such as healthcare, entertainment, finance, and education. Right, so in education system, in healthcare system, even in entertainment and finance, okay, the use of AI becomes very essential. And AI is making our daily life more comfortable and fast. So this is what the introduction of artificial intelligence. Then uh, if we talk about the definition of AI, then the systems that think like humans or we can say the systems that think rationally. Okay, rationally is what? the uh, things should be logically correct okay the system can think like human the systems can act like human or the system can think rationally or the system that act rationally that is what a definition of ai in simple terms okay various authors have uh, given different method sorry definitions of ai the first uh, um, the first definition of ai is what the automation of activities that we associated with hu human thinking okay so what are those activities the activities such as decision making then problem solving and learning so these are the activities that human can perform okay similarly if the uh, machine is also able to perform these activities like decision making problem solving and learning then we can say that that system or that machine is what artificially intelligent then the second definition is about the design and study of computer programs that behave intelligently and these programs are constructed to perform as a human or an animal behavior we consider intelligent okay if our computer program is performing or behaving intelligently okay so what do you mean by intelligently same as the human just a human think karta hai agar aapka machine bhi basic usi tarike se think kar payega ya fir behave kar payega then you can say that your machine is what intelligent the third definition is the the art of creating machines that perform a function that require intelligence when performed by people okay so again ai is nothing but the art of creating machines that perform some functions and that requires to perform functions we require intelligence okay and that intelligence also performed by the people or we can say that the same intelligence is required to perform functions by the machine the branch of computer science that is concerned with automation of intelligent behavior so normally what is the difference between normal intelligence and artificial intelligence the process should get automatic okay the thinking process uh, the behaving process okay that process should get automatic the next definition is so many human mental activities such as writing computer programs doing mathematics engaging in common sense reasoning understanding language and even driving an automobile are said to demand intelligence okay so writing computer programs human can write computer programs right so uh, solving some mathematical problems like uh, the common examples are addition subtraction or even our complex problems we can solve using mathematics then engaging in common sense reasoning understanding the language or even we can say the driving an automobile or we can say the driving a car okay so these to perform these activities we need intelligence okay so we might say that this system exhibit artificial intelligence if these processes are happening or if these uh, functions are happening automatically then we can say that these uh, these uh, systems are what artificially intelligent the next definition is the study of how to make computers do things at which at the moment people are better so uh, this definition is given by rich and knight so he is saying that it is a study of how to make computers do things at which the, at that moment people are better so 
uh, the uh, target or we can say uh, to use artificial intelligence in machine is to uh, do the things faster or we can say do the things right in a better way than people the study of the computation that make it possible to perceive reason and act so we will see these uh, three things reasoning perceiving act in the uh, so next slides as well so this is nothing but the study of computation that make it possible to perceive reason and act now uh, the next point is applications of artificial intelligence so in this diagram there are uh, multiple applications are given so the first is finance then you can say the gaming astronomy healthcare transport agriculture education e-commerce entertainment robotics automotive social media data security these are various applications of artificial intelligence or we can say that these are different domains where artificial intelligence can be used okay now machine learning and deep learning okay so artificial intelligence uh, is a not a simple concept it is having multiple domains in it okay like ml then dl then nlp okay computer vision so in sab ko bana ke aapka kya hua hai artificial intelligence bana hai so the focus is given first towards the machine learning or we can say the deep learning okay so continue growth and advancement in machine learning and deep learning techniques with increased focus on model architecture optimization algorithms and training methods okay so in artificial intelligence different models are used okay and these uh, these models are using some optimization algorithms these models are properly trained these models are having different and uh, better architectures and that is a fundamental part of your artificial intelligence now natural language processing significant progress in natural language processing understanding and generation with the development of sophisticated nlp models including transformer based architecture like gpt3 okay so again nlp is also part of your artificial intelligence okay so understanding the language generating the language or we can say the different transformer based architectures like gpt3 is also included in artificial intelligence the next is computer vision advancement in computer vision with improved object detection image classification semantic segmentation using deep learning approaches and these application in various fields including healthcare autonomous vehicles and surveillance so computer vision has different applications we can use computer vision in healthcare autonomous vehicles and surveillance again reinforcement learning explainable ai ai in healthcare edge ai these are different technologies or you can say the domains which are included in artificial intelligence we will not go in detail of this because this is an introduction of artificial intelligence at least you should know the concept or the different domains that comes under the artificial intelligence so the first is uh, ai ethics and bias mitigation ai cyber security generative ai so these were the foundations or you can say the different domains that comes in the artificial intelligence so any doubt till now